Good afternoon and good afternoon from Calico Kate in Lambeter in Wales and I'm delighted to be joined here by Kate. So Kate we're in your beautiful shop here on the high street and I'd like you to start by telling us a little bit about how you started. Well we moved to Wales my husband and I about 25 years ago. Okay. Uh, he's a botanist and I thought what can I do next? I, first of all, I wanted to spin and weave. So we had our own sheep and some chickens and rather did the good life look like so many English moving to Wales did. But soon pretty well found that spinning and weaving was all very well, but I wasn't going to make a living out of it. Mm -hmm. But I started life as an actress. And when you were on the stage, you often had to make the costumes, search for props as well as act. Mm -hmm. And so all my life I had sewn, I'd made costumes for my children, puppets for shows, everything. So sewing was a natural progression from mm -hmm. what I was doing. I had a girlfriend who I met when we were both demonstrating at an Iron Age fort. I was demonstrating weaving and she said, I've got this tiny little shop in Lampeter. You probably don't know where it is, but I need some help. So I went and helped her for a little while and before I knew what she was saying, I don't want to do this any longer. And I said, well, I do. I found this bigger premises along in the high street. And I moved here 20 years ago, just with one room at the front. And then gradually over the years, I kept asking my landlord, could I have a bit more and a bit more? And I pay every month, whereas your students just disappear for the summer and you don't get any rent. And dear Davith, bless him, kept saying, yes, Kate, that's all right. And this is how Calico Kate got bigger and got bigger it. and bigger. And now I've got 12 rooms of fabric. And having been on the stage, I have them color themed. I look upon my little window outside on the high street is like a proscenium arch. And that is the display that the customers see. So it's been great fun. And I've learned so much about people and still learning about sewing. And now after 20 years, I feel I want to do something for myself. So I was lucky enough to have a member of my staff who knew about pinhole quilting. And she introduced me to her fantastic long arm sewing machine, the Moxie, mm -hmm. and I just fell in love with it. And I thought, I want a challenge. You get mm -hmm. to a certain time in life and you think, challenge would be good and so I've started on a journey right. but I'm very much at the beginning of the journey and looking forward to every step of the way I'm still at the stage where I think I'm finding out what I don't know rather than what I do know but that's all part of the challenge it is and and in fact of course what you don't know and discovering those things is going to be changing next week because you're joining us on the foundation workshop that's very true building. that's very true and in actual fact you often learn more from your mistakes in life true. than you do for the things that you hit on straight on yes yes and and in fact because we've got um 10 or 11 people on those classes on the 29th and 30th you're that's, going to see other people that, um doing things and we're going to learn from each other as well yes and you're never too old to learn a new trick no, or learn true. something else that you can do yeah. and i learn still whether it be from plants in my garden of colors that you put together whether it be from another quilter of seeing what she's doing. I've mm -hmm. learned so much from Helen, who mm. were, has been working the for me, who introduced you, me yes. to pinhole quilting. Yes. And there are just so many possibilities. Yeah, and no, fantastic. Life is full of possibilities. It's, it's an exciting journey that you're starting out on. And, um, but in terms of the journey that we had here today mm. through beautiful Wales, mm. it was, it's been a beautiful day, actually, so that was enhanced our journey. But when we arrived, I think the thing that struck both of us was how, you know, the beautiful window that you'd got with Helen's quilt that she quilted on indeed, her moxie. Indeed. Um, and it is a lovely window display that you've got. It is. And that is the first. I think somebody once said, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. That's a very and good that's point. why yes. it's so true, whether it be your window 
or whether somebody you meet who introduces you to something mm -hmm. which is going to totally change your life, which I believe mm -hmm. the Moxie and getting to know Pete and Liz at Pinhole Quilting will do. And it's exciting. Yes. I'm so lucky to have found you all. Yes. Well, the first impression for Pete and I as we walked into your shop was just a beautiful array of colours. I yes. mean, there's beautiful bolts. It's a yes. fantastic selection that you've got there. But it just keeps going on and on. I didn't, and I didn't realise that, you know, it was your, it was the upstairs we've got this series of rooms which are a result, result of you having persuaded your landlord to, Do, um, to yes. forego this student accommodation. And, and it is a fantastic selection. So I definitely rec would recommend that you come and visit um, this beautiful shop at Calico Cave. And thanks to my landlord, I have to say, and I know that a lot of people might frown at this, but we literally shook hands 20 years ago. Yeah. I have no contract <laughs> or anything. He believes in me. I believe in him. Mm. Um, sometimes in life you have to take a chance. And they say that um, good luck comes to those who have to be prepared to take it in. Yes. And I feel by my introduction now, at this time in my life, taking on the moxie and learning long arm quilting is just the right moment. Mm. So yeah. thank you. Wonderful. Well, we're looking forward to as well, right next door to Calico Kate is the... The Welsh Quilt Welsh Centre. Quilt Centre. So and it's literally only just opened again yes. after two years. And it is absolutely splendid. Yes. So do visit. Yes, we're going to pop next door um, right away after we've been finished our visit here. So if you're in the area, um, do pop in. But actually, I would recommend a special visit. It is definitely worth it, both to see Kate here and the Welsh Quilt Centre as well. So um, thank you very much. I'm looking forward to seeing your progress and seeing you on, on your visit next week. Um, and thank you very much. It's been a beautiful visit and thank you so much again. Thank you. Um, take care.